عن أبي رقية تميم بن أوس الداري رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين النصيحة قل لا لمن قال لله ولكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وعامتهم رواه مسلم Music, okay, that's a good question. I think it's not about my opinion on music, because my opinion about music is not important. I mean, whether, whether I think it's good or not good, it's not really important. But what's important is what did Allah say about music, and what did the Prophet ﷺ say about music. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Qur'an that music is haram. In the Qur'an, not a lot of people know this. A lot of people think it's not in the Qur'an. And I'll quote you the ayah uh, to be exact. The ayah is number six in Surah Luqman. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهْوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّخِذَهَا هُزُوَا أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُهِينٌ Allah said, from mankind there are some people who purchase music and singing. Lahu al-hadith. Almost all the scholars of tafsir unanimously agree that lahu al-hadith in this ayah is music. To misguide people from the path of Allah without knowledge. And they take the signs of Allah as a joke. These people will have a, a big punishment in the hellfire. A humiliating punishment in the hellfire. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us it's haram. And if you think about it, what does music do? It takes you away from the path of Allah. Music changes how you think. Changes how you feel. Your heart starts racing. You know, your, your limbs start moving. Your head starts nodding. You're like, it changes what you do and it changes how you think. There are books on how music makes people change totally their behavior. Totally change. And it takes you away from Allah, it stops you. You don't listen to music and Qur'an at the same time, why not? The music drowns out the Qur'an. And the, when there's music in the heart, there's, the Qur'an is not there. So this is something that music is very dangerous. And the lyrics of a lot of music songs, most songs, the lyrics are very bad. They have very haram things in them. But even if they didn't have haram in them, music would still be haram. And the Prophet ﷺ said, they will come to a group of my people from my ummah, who will say that alcohol and music, or that they will say that, uh, uh, that uh, alcohol and silk and music are halal. And they will declare, from among the things they will declare to be halal are alcohol and silk for men and music. And those people, they will end up being destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what they say. So reality is music is haram and it's bad for you. And the problem is these days that we give our kids the Islamic, Islamic music. And it's just music, let's not call it anashid, because it's not anashid, it's music. Inshad is reciting poetry. And if you've got five singers in the background who are all singing la 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 and do wop and shoo wop, all of those people are singing music. And the guy at the front, he might be singing about Allah, but he's still singing music. There's a misconception, people say the voice is halal, anything you do with the voice. Beatbox, you know, like sing, do what you like, as long as it's with the voice, as long as you don't bring a violin, it's halal. That's, nobody said this from the scholars. This is what the juhal, the ignorant people say, the amatun nas. None of the scholars said this. Rather, the voice can be haram, just like the violin and the guitar can be haram. The voice can also be haram too. If you sing with it, if you sing a song with it, then it's haram. So if I take the latest uh, song which everyone is singing, and I take the instruments out of the background, it's still haram. It doesn't matter if he's singing what he's singing about. It doesn't matter if he's singing about Allah. It doesn't matter. Ultimately, it's haram. What's not haram is reciting poetry, reciting the Quran with a beautiful voice. That's not haram. And try to replace that music with, try to replace it with, Quran, try to replace it with even nice poetry. There's some very beautiful poetry, beautiful voices. But not these anashid of these artists 
And anyone who calls himself a nasheed artist, yani khalas. You don't, need to ha- you don't need to ask about them. Yani. The fact that they call themselves a nasheed artist, any better than they should call themselves a pop artist. That would be better. A pop artist who sings about Allah. That would be better than calling themselves a nasheed artist. And as for these groups, Muslim, nasheed, rap music, and Islamic rap music, Islamic rap music, really? I mean, like, is that even a term? You know, like, Allahu Musta'an. I mean, there is reciting poetry and reciting Quran and everything else. And everything else is music. Whether it's with the voice or whether it's some guy singing in the background or whatever. SubhanAllah. These are, and really, it's just, it's all the same. It takes you away from the path of Allah. It doesn't make you any closer. That's why nobody ever got closer to Allah by listening to uh, music or by listening to these Islamic, the Islamic whatever versions of it.